mean, life, we can't escape anything that goes on with life. You know, we all are not immune to problems, or drama, or trauma, or tragedy. You know, we all are here as human beings. So, you know, when you're going through some sort of difficulties, you know, first find out whatever that difficulty may be. You know, for me, I like to pray, I like to give it to the man upstairs and, and, and get strength from him. You know, and at the same time, and whatever, after we give it to him, you know, we do with, with within your power in terms of how to start slowly, you know, get yourself out of that situation. Um, but for one, you know, you give it to the man, you know, you do all within your power, and, uh, and you believe, you be optimistic about it. You know, being negative about a situation, staying in that place, it never helps. You know, it's nothing wrong with understanding that place, feeling bad about it, looking at it for what it is, but don't stay there. You gotta get back on that other side and start looking at the resolve, resolution of it, or how can I get back to feeling good and feeling prospers again to where I'm not dealing with this obstacle. You know, anything is possible. Um, positive thinking is also translates to that. When you have something that's positive out there, you can be, you know, the best you can be, you know. When you're negative out there, I mean, you could bring down the worst person, you know. Misery loves company. You know, misery loves company. So we, we're not Debbie Downers, we're more uplifters. You know, we always, no matter what the situation, what the situation is, we're going to try to look for the outcome, the better of that situation, you know. Um, if we, and if we can't find a resolution to get out of it, you know, we're going to keep on searching to continue to try to find a resolution to get out of it because that's what you do, you know, that's how you get to the bottom of it, that's how you get to the facts and the ass. No matter who, what anybody else thought, I believe, and that's what I want every kid to understand how to feel good about themselves. When you look at that mirror and you look at that reflection back, not like yourself, love yourself. We all have some sort of deficiencies about stuff. Some are taller than others, some are a little wider than others, some are a little shorter than others, some you know, a little disinformed than others. But God created us for a reason and we need to accept that reason what he was able to create and not second guess it. Everybody has some sort of opinion about who you are. Don't give them that platform, don't give them the ammunition. That's their opinion. Don't mean that it's true about who you are. So that's one of the reasons, that's when I wanna start this Reach One Teach One because I wanna make sure that every kid believes in himself going forward throughout life. We all human beings. Treat one as you would wanna be treated. Um, we got so much diversity going around in this country, in this world right now that we need to stop and take a step back and just reflect and understand we will want the same thing for our kids that we will want for your kid. And if we have that understanding, then, you know, this world could be a much better place. You know, we get so hung up on, you know, these days in the political side to where to agree to disagree, to where we can agree to disagree, uh, to agree. And so, I mean, once we understand that, you know, I mean, maybe, you know, we can kind of sit down at a table and really have a conversation about everything that's happening in the world, racism, economics, and so forth. But I think people get blindsided once they get to defend their side and not hearing the other side. So hopefully where we can kind of hear both sides to agree to disagree, but really understand that we all human beings, you know? So that's one of the main messages I would love to get out to any, everybody that's out there. As they said, you know, you, you grown up as a kid when they say sticks and stones may hurt your bones, but word, words will never hurt you. It's not true. Words will hurt you now and they're killing folks. So words are very powerful, very powerful. So the thing is about getting within yourself and understanding who you are to kind of, you know, ward off those negative comments that's coming toward you. Because, you know, as a kid, you know, you're not as strong you know, as you are as an adult. So when I was a kid, you know, those things was very hurtful. And, it, you know, that was very deterring at the time, but it didn't distract me. You know, you have to go through those things in order to see the light at the, the end of the, the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I don't think anything is gonna 
just be like this throughout your life. You know, you have to go through that difficult, overcome obstacle. You know, because it's it's a testament of your character, of who you are, and how you're able to deal with certain things. You know, to get yourself back on that plane. Because your heart, you know, it measure. It pretty much doesn't have a height to it. You know, it pretty much set the tone of who you are and what you're able to accomplish. You know, you look at whatever your weakness is. You got to try to turn it to a strength, and not look at, let them know that this is a weakness. So don't get discouraged. Don't get distracted.